she seems really sweet. Looking at her previous record, they should know she's putting on an act. Come on then! It's rare for a Tracy Beaker episode to have such an engaging and memorable pre-title sequence scene, removing a sin. Not sure how I feel about Electra not being featured here. On the one hand, it creates suspicion as to whether she'll remain in the series. On the other, she is sleeping at Elm Tree and the move was meant to be permanent. Please, don't look at the camera. We've already met you. Gus is not seen enough in this episode. He should be questioning Electra for her full name. Uh-huh. You're shot. It actually winds me up when programmes do this. Why is it relevant for Toby to have a crush on Electra? It adds nothing to anyone's character and it certainly doesn't enhance the plot. I like this segment for foreshadowing the destruction Electra goes on to create, but they could have done a better job at showing her breaking the Lego. It only looks like the head's come off. And it's important not to patronise people. Love the ironic hypocrisy. Take this. Yeah, Frank, but... Hey, I'm so hungry. Electra gave Carmen her jacket only for her to just dump it on the filthy grass. What's SGC? Oh, it's the secret girls club. No. Oh, I get it. Electra has already referred to the gang as the SGC. What is there to get? While Toby is a somewhat minor character in TBR, he has some of the best moments, deducting a sin. It appears that only the tap came off rather than the handles also. Gina could therefore probably just turn the water off. At the very least, she could stand back. It's as if she wants to get wet. Okay. Well, who cares? We've got the pasta sauce and that's all that matters. <laughs> I love the music used in the background. Just cool hearing different variations of the theme. What sort of voucher just says, money off? Can't help but think a man offering a child free sausages is weird. Grab the bags and run, yeah? This is perhaps the worst example Tracy ever sets. Just pay for your creepy sausages, get a taxi and pay the driver upon arrival. We didn't want to look like idiots. How's that working out for you? Finally! A funny comment from Mike that isn't overly harsh. It's awfully convenient that Mike only opens the door just enough to squeeze in, rather than opening it fully. Not sure about you, but I'd sent someone crawling in my bedroom at night. Toby, that's disgusting. Just put it in your hand. Congratulations. Now you're all official members of the gang. Why did he go down with Carmen? Was there a deleted piece of Electra dialogue saying she had to help before becoming an official member? As there wasn't a scene in which Electra got scissors, we are left to presume that she carries a pair at all times. I don't want to be mean, but Harry's actor often smiles when he shouldn't. This plumber is a total con man. Frank only removed one ring, so why is it taking him so long to repair? Well, that is very kind of you, Electra. Very helpful. Gina, Electra's not deaf. Blumenek, that's a lot of money. I know they probably had some leftover props on the last episode, but putting what looks like £5,000 in Mike's hands is a bit excessive. Though, I did say the plumber was a con man, so maybe he is just charging a fortune. You don't think it's the new girl, do you? Any good care worker would refer to each child by name. Then again, Tracy isn't a good care worker. Sapphire is a queen. We're not giving up on you, Electra. You will. Although this story finishes quite abruptly, the ending is quite different from any other Tracy Beaker episode, deducting a sin. Roll up, roll up, see the amazing talking sausages! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs>